Hi everyone, I am so excited about today's video. I am starting to post about the mammals that I saw during my trip to Malaysia, specifically Borneo. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the yellow-throated martin. But first, before we get into that, I am Dr. Stephanie Shetler, AKA The Fancy Scientist, and my YouTube channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to conserve the natural world. So the yellow-throated martin is an animal that I really didn't expect to see. These guys are mustelids, and they look a lot like our weasels here. I'm in the eastern United States, and for us, weasels are really hard to see. Even our camera trap, we don't see them. So I was super surprised to see these guys. So here's how we saw them. We had been doing a game drive, um, so taking a vehicle and riding around the park for hours. We had left um, early that morning, and this particular day we actually didn't really see that many animals. And on the way back to uh, where we were staying, we saw something, or I saw something, <laughs> dash across the road. And it was little, um, colorful, and it was a yellow-throated martin. So now I'm gonna show you the video of, that I took of these guys. Oh, and when we saw the first one, we saw another one travel right behind it. Okay, so let's take a look at that clip. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. See it? Our luck are much better than the others. I have good miso carnivore look. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you some fun stuff about Martins. So first of all, um, one of the reasons why I love them is because of how colorful they are. Usually mammals, although they're super cute, they are not as colorful as birds and butterflies are usually brown. So these Martins, they have a yellow chest, which is where they get the name yellow-throated, and they have um, a brownish uh, back body, and then it blends into a nice black tail and legs. And sometimes these tail and legs they honestly even look like a, they have like a bluish or purplish tint. They're so pretty. And I was just so excited to see these Martins. I also love Martins because um, they are underestimated or underappreciated. Maybe not underestimated, but they're underappreciated. So I love that they are um, just these like really pint-sized animals. They're not that big, but they are tough. So here's an example of how they are tough. In Borneo, um, there are actually not a lot of uh, apex predators. Really, the um, the biggest predator is the clouded leopard, which is um, less than half the size of a of a full grown or a full leopard uh, of leopard species. So these martins are even smaller than that, but there have been anecdotes of them um, hunting animals like pigs and deer in the park. So that's pretty impressive. And these anecdotes, anecdotes um, suggest that they hunt in um, groups. Um, again, this isn't well um, validated, but these are stories. And I did a little bit of digging of this, and there's more information on my blog, but apparently in northern regions um, where Martins also live, um, they actually hunt musk deer. So I think that's pretty impressive that you can imagine these little like weasel-like animals forming together in a pack and taking down an animal like a deer. So these guys, they are found um, throughout Southeast Asia and then up north into China. And um, it's pretty cool they can adapt to these different types of climates. So they are found at sea level and then up to higher elevations. In addition to this post, I have a blog on yellow throat and martins, and there you can see all of uh, camera trap photos from our e-mammal projects. We have photos from Borneo and China, and at this one site in China, you can even see yellow throated martin when it's um, normal outside, and then in another photo, it might even be the same martin, you can see that it is snowy. So um, yeah, these guys can adapt to a variety of habitats. Another cool fact about martins is that they are not just carnivorous, um, even though they're really successful hunters, they also eat um, a lot of fruits. And this one study that I found, um, they actually measured fruit abundance and small mammal abundance, and they found that the martins actually eat more fruits during this time than during small mammals. So, interesting fact. 
The yellow-throated martin is thought to be monogamous. They're uh, commonly seen in pairs. And apparently when I saw the Martins, I was super excited to see them um, because I thought it was a rare find. But apparently they, are, they do tend to have less fear of humans and they can even be tamed. So maybe it wasn't so special for um, someone to see, but it was super special for me to see. So those are just some fun facts about yellow-throated martins. There's a blog post on fancyscientist.com where you can see the photos from the video, but also some cool camera trap photos as well. So make sure you visit the blog, and I'm super excited to put up more videos about Bordeo and the animals that I've seen, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of them. And thank you so much for watching. If you love this, share it with a friend. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to see these cute guys? Share it.